Hello, friends. Welcome back to part two of an outstanding discussion I had with Dan Bain from ICM Partners in Los Angeles, California. Please review on whatever platform you choose. Enjoy the episode. My friends, we are going to grow and get better together. This is not about me. This is about us. Welcome to Win Today with Johnny Martin. If you were, you know, when you train younger agents, and I know you ran the training program, but if you're training younger agents or if somebody comes into your office, you know, I, I was lucky enough, I sent a young lady a couple years ago, flew out to LA, and you took the time to meet with her to talk about uh, your industry to see if she'd be interested. Um, but if you were to have a chance to speak with anybody, whether they were getting into your line of work, or the corporate world, any type of business, what would be some pieces of advice that you think are just rock solid? You need these when you're getting into uh, the workforce or even approaching your life every day. Like, what are some things for you that know who you are and know who you are not and be comfortable with who you are and the things that you're not comfortable with? Deal with it. Figure out what it is. What, what is it? What, what have some of those things been for you, Danny? Um, I, 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 as I said, I love intimacy. Yeah. So I love being one on one. Like I could sit and talk. We to could you do for, this. We do hours, it all the time. <laughs> but you throw me into a big party, into a sequence where I don't know where everybody is and what's going on around me. Yeah. I am still terrified to this day. No kidding. I, I have. Even though you have to attend events like that three nights a week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I avoid as many sometimes going to a. Premiere. I know you do. I don't love, I, it's just not what I love to do. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm not one to do a, like a baloney yeah. conversation. Yeah. BS was really the word I was looking yeah, for. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm afraid of that. I am, I'm sometimes afraid. Like there are certain people like, oh, wow. Look, does this person sometimes know where I am, what I am doing? Um, and, and just, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I gotta think about no. That. There's, there's plenty the reason, of things. I'm the reason about. I ask is because what I try to do when I talk to people on the show, and what I try to do personally is I want to take not just for my own life, but for the listeners. It's so so important for me. The reason I use this space, and we've talked about this. The reason yeah. I use this space is because I truly want people to be able to take stuff from people from all across the country and all different walks of life. But they can take these messages and say, well, wait a minute, if if Dan Bame is doing it and doing what he loves and he's doing it at that level, why can't I? And I I believe everybody can. Yeah. Um, but I love that. Know who you are and know who you're not. And I think we all struggle with that, you know, to some degree. Uh, some do a better job of it than others, right? And, and I think that's really the kernel and what, what it all comes down sure. to is that what works for me isn't necessarily what's going to work for the person next to that's me. right and a lot of times people make judgments about people or situations and they only know what they see they don't know what's unseen or from the on the flip side what with the other perspective yeah is. and just in terms of building relationships man we all come with stuff yes you know what i mean like we all we all come with stuff and if you can and if you start to try to mimic what you find to be successful in other people it may not work for you it may not work because that's not authentic that's such a great point and, and i think that's what i'm most grateful for i think the greatest part about age become comes like okay this is where i'm gonna be that's i'm not gonna i can't i can work on changing the things i don't like but that's because i want to make those changes and i work really hard more than anything else on my brain and who i am and how i want to get better what do i do do to get better but i think what really makes that difference is to talk about what's uncomfortable and to deal with it on my own uh, and I think that's to work really, through the tough stuff. Yeah. And I, I think I, I've said to you and we've had conversations off the air before about it. But to me, the biggest difference in my professional life and my personal life and my relation and my authenticity with my friendships is is therapy. Yeah, I, I've I've been do, I've been very consistent about it for a number of years. Um, and I appreciate 18. you being I appreciate you sharing it because I think still societally, it's one of those things where people don't want to talk about it but I, I tell people all the time if you broke your arm or you broke your leg you would you would go to the hospital they put a cast on it and it would help you heal I'll, I'll put it in a simple way yeah what did, what did we do yesterday afternoon uh, we 
we did a lot yesterday in New in Orleans. The, in the afternoon, not last. <laughs> no, I know we went out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you really want to go? You want to talk about that now? <laughs> we, 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 we went to tr- we went to go work. Tr- we went to we train. went to work out. Yeah, yeah, we got we went to train. Yeah, a lot of people who are in society today will go work out and take care of their bodies. But what do people do to take care of their brains? I totally agree. If, if your brain is not functioning to the full capacity that it is, shame on you. That's right. And, and there are and, tools out there that can help us. And and for everybody, what works for me as far as, let's say, I, why I love going to, talking to a therapist, I use it as strategy and how I want to approach my life. And really, I've used it as a coaching session to it because I could go to other people for guidance, which I do. I still have mentors to this day. Of course. And I'm finding new and, and mentors in, in so many different fields within my agency and with that, which I'm incredibly grateful for. But with that being said, the best guidance I can get is finding out what is not being, what is unsaid in my own brain. Yeah. And the more I can deal with my own insecurities and figure out what it is, just because I'm 42 doesn't mean I'm any less insecure potentially than That's I am right. if I'm 22. And sometimes it could be, it could be even more so during specific stretches. Absolutely. Yeah. When, especially in your line of work, man, if things I, aren't going well and listen, I wanted to, as blockers is coming out, it'll open up over 20 million. And that was a number that I really wanted. And on Friday, mid-afternoon, it looked like it was going to be 18. I know. And I remember sitting next to you in the car saying, relax, bro. Right. It, 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 we're going to get there. And, and 18 would have still been successful. It was more of a mind aspect, yeah. mind frame. But at the end of the day, did it make me feel like, oh, holy crap, this isn't going to work when you're seeing other numbers. So yeah. no matter, even when in successful moments, you could have moments of um, real uh, of real frustration. And I yeah. think... Uh, in general, where you where we all work our best is when we have clarity, and no I doubt. think clarity is one of the most important words you yeah, can use in not, any situation as far as life. And and that's what I love about your podcast is that the whole positivity is really about clarity. And and when when somebody has that moment where they see things in such a in almost slow motion yeah for me clarity is the reason that i i started all this stuff because that you know that aha moment a few years ago at john's gym but then yeah. slowly building to a place where i where i get where i'm like okay look i'm doing this thing and i'm gonna give it everything i have and and i remember you said this to me when i first started with it and john said it to me as well i think i mentioned it on another episode but you guys just said whatever you do don't ever call one in do it do every single one of them to the absolute best of your ability. Yeah. And you got to be patient. What I'm learning is like, you know, and you developing a relationship with clients, me run, trying to run this podcast and the speaking and stuff. Of course, everybody in the back of their mind, like it would be great in your line of work if every single day you knew you were signing a new multi million dollar deal. Yeah. It would be great. You wouldn't say no to it. But you also know enough to know that this person that I'm working with right now might not get there in six months, a year, two years. But I think our partnership, us working together, we'll both get there and beyond Absolutely. if we're willing to stay the course. But people quit, man. I mean, you see it all the time. Well, people quit. And I believe, and I, I this is just a personal belief, but I believe people quit when they're really, really close to doing Absolutely. something unbelievable. Because of there, sometimes people are just as afraid of success as they are as failure. And and people get tired and they don't push themselves. You get to a, pu- a place where you're exhausted because you put the work in for six months, a year, and you've convinced yourself, I've worked so hard at this. Well, compared to who? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Some of the most su- successful people in the entertainment business are people just because they wouldn't quit. That's right. And, 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 not, just, and not just in your business, buddy, but and, yeah. everywhere. The kids and families I work with, you have Absolutely. met people from all over the world that aren't in your line of work, but their stories move you because they just never quit. Yeah. Like, you just don't stop working. You know what I mean? Hearing you talk, one of the things which I think about, and it's really how I approach my day, and I've been so lucky and, and blessed to, to, as you say, travel the world. And before I started in my job, I've never went to Europe. I never went to Asia. I certainly never went to the Middle East. Um, but what I, I, where I really look in, and my agency is giving me a great opportunity. I'm, I'm a partner there now. But they but haven't I, given, I, honestly, I don't think they've given you anything. I think you've created it. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> but so I, I've, uh, whatever I've created, I still look at every day could be my last day. Absolutely. But that and, keeps you hungry though, and right? I like, that, And I think the more people look at looking at the world in that same vein, 
the, yeah. for not 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 only will they wor- be they'll be actually be happier and they're going to have a lot more fun. And it's okay to put a little bit of that pressure on yeah. you. When we look at that stuff, you probably don't because of what you've done for so long. You you've grown used to it. But like for for me or somebody else, this notion of pressure and change is uncomfortable. Yeah. And people freak out. I, I, and it, you know so what I mean? True. Whether it's as simple as, oh my God, they're sending me to London. I've never done this before. That that anxiety or just embarking on something brand new and cutting the cuffs off and just saying, you know what? F it. I'm giving this thing a shot. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But even in a simplistic way, I, I've, I've, we got here on Thursday night yep. and we'll be, I'm leaving here tomorrow and I can't wait to go back into the office on Tuesday. Right. And there's nothing new on Tuesday that isn't wasn't there on Wednesday. Last or Wednesday. Thursday. Right, I got you. But it's what can I accomplish today? Yeah, what can and and that to me, like if if nobody took away anything else, if you're listening, it's about you writing your own story. Don't wait for somebody else to hand it to you. Don't wait for somebody else to tell you, "Hey, there's this really great opportunity that might be available to you." Go figure out how you can create it for yourself. Yeah. Just to paint the picture for you guys right now, we are sitting in a hotel room in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is a city that never stops. We could be doing a lot of other things right now. but We plan our whole day around We this. plan the day around this because it's, it's, to us, it's that important. For me, guys, to have you have a chance to listen to, to Dan or Rourke Denver or anybody else I'll have on, to take something away that could, and, I, and I, I don't minimize this when I share it. I mean it with every ounce of my heart and soul. To take something away that could potentially change your life. Not, not a day, not an hour, not a week. You can take something away from these conversations that could change your life. And for me, what you just shared is one that I would definitely grab onto if I was listening. And that is show up and work to create something. Create yeah. that opportunity, man. The other, the other big piece, I, and you, you've touched on it at different times. When I was uh, 15 years old, I remember going to a basketball camp, and it was a, it was called Five Star Basketball. Oh yeah, I, I'm very familiar with them. And it was one of the most telling, one of the great moments is when I was there. I went by myself. I didn't know anybody else there, and they had unbelievable coaches speak. They had Bobby Knight. They had Chuck Daly. God Legends. Old, Rick Pitino. And when Rick Pitino spoke. He said, you gave, he talked about an Aristotle quote where you're, you're lucky in life to have as many friends as fingers on a hand. And that's the truth. And to learn that at 15. So I really approached my life that way. Keep your circle small. And, 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 and all these people that you think are your friends aren't really your friends. And now I've really translated that as I've gotten older in the sense of surround yourself with like-minded individuals who are who are also not just yes people yeah who aren't gonna t- like if you have a problem if they don't like a, a, what not not what you're wearing but who you are what you're doing how you're living your life yeah, what decisions are you making? making and so i i use that in your personal life but also your professional life and i really started to do that more in my career yeah, it's freeing man it is freeing <laughs> and for all of you for, for people who don't think there are a lot of people who are like them at their office and go find a new office. Yeah, but there are, the, but more likely than not, they actually are there working with you. You just haven't so- sought them out. Yeah, and maybe you haven't opened yourself up to them. Yeah, you haven't you haven't presented in a way that would maybe make that make them want to approach you, because that's a lot of times how we find these people. I mean, and it, that's where you can create real significance, is by actually opening yourself up getting a chance to put yourself out there and meeting like-minded individuals because as a group you can make that greater of a difference than by trying to do it yourself because then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy like i can't do this there's no such thing as i can't yeah I, i think one of the great moments i had as a parent was when i took my son uh we went we were at a wedding and he was swimming, and he was going to try to go back and forth. On the oh laps. man, I, I, re- I remember this. And I saw him on the corner, like, on the, and he he stopped, and he starts saying to himself, "Never give up, Dad." Jackson, never give up. And I've always said, I remember I mean, you when that happened. You called me. I called. Yeah, I remember that. And our mutual friend has made more of a difference in my life than anything that could possibly ever happen in work. Yeah. And to see that now translated in my son. Was it's a greatest, gift, was, it's was the greatest a, gift ever, man. 
are, is a moment that I'll never forget. No, it's, it's the greatest gift ever. This stuff, guys, I'm telling you, I get, and you guys, you know Dan better than anybody how quickly I get fired up. But yeah. this is stuff that I love because for me, and I've, I've said this since I started this, whether one person listens a thousand or a million at some point, the stuff you're sharing that we're able to just talk about and that probably we will talk about for the next six hours after we stop recording. That's who we are. Yeah, but it's just, man, I I get pissed off at myself sometimes because I'm like, man, why did it take me so long to figure this stuff out? Because it's not it's not hard. See, see it's wait, simple. I'm, I'm going to stop you, you right there. You know what I'm there. saying? Because everything you have done to this point has helped shape where you are here. I totally agree. Because you know what? Truth is, maybe you weren't ready a year ago. I, I, I wasn't. Maybe you weren't ready. And if you did it two or three years ago or six months ago, whenever you started or whatever, it wouldn't be as good as it is now. And it wouldn't and be authentic. By, by the way, I've done that to myself so many times. Yeah. And the truth is, I'm just happy being where I am now and yeah. being present. Present. Because you can't change the past. And the more present you are, you can actually affect the future. Absolutely. Speaking of the future, what are for you some, you know, in, in just a, a couple minutes, what are for you some um, short-term and long-term goals professionally? Short-term and long-term goals. Yeah, like what, what do you, as, as you look at projects yes. maybe you have coming now that I maybe I know you maybe can't speak on specifically, which is, I, I get that, but like, as you look at your first 20 years, right, in the business, you've got a lot more road ahead of you. You work with some phenomenal people. What do you want to do in moving forward? Are you really happy if you continue to do this exactly the way you're doing it? Let me, um, my thought, it's a, it's a, it's a really good question. I really have always thought both in short-term and long-term goals. Yeah. And as far as the short-term goals are, is to continue the growth that I see in our department and, and, and where I, where we have kind of grown in that area. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the pieces I'm most proud of is since I've become a partner, our department has doubled in revenue. Awesome. And so I look at how that is done. So I would, I really want to, in a short term way, I want to see how that can really grow that in that specific way. Yeah. As far as the agency, I want to see us grow as a whole and, and to see the different areas of our work and grow. Uh, but in particular, is I want to see how some of these clients grow. Yeah. And I, I want to see where that goes and who knows where that will, t will take everything over the long term. But I think the more you focus on the present and now and seeing how. The decisions you make today really affect tomorrow is really what yeah, what it's all about. Absolutely. And I just think, you know, you've talked about this through the whole episode and just sort of your not just approach to business, but just how you live your life. Really, folks that you're listening, I hope the takeaway for you has been um, about building these relationships around real authenticity and um, don't be afraid to take chances. Don't be afraid to fail because it, even you – Dan and our friend and a lot of other people you work with from the outside looking in people Listen. think you know like it's perfect well it's I, perfect. I, I get fired all the time yeah exactly and I, I get fired it, by it, clients it, clients it, that mean a tremendous amount both personally and professionally yeah I've also there's more times than not that people don't get jobs and sometimes people get on jobs and they get fired from those jobs yeah yeah it's a, in your business it constantly happens but you keep pressing forward one of the things i always like to do um on the on the show is i always like to ask guests um what their non-negotiables are you know sort of either personally or professionally the reason i do it is because I, i'm hoping that sort of the folks that are listening will create their own ethos around how they want to live their life as i'm working to create mine every day yeah. and understanding they can change but for you what are some things as we sit here today you know, in the late afternoon in New Orleans, Louisiana, that are non-negotiables for you? Time, character, and integrity. Wow. Time, because I don't care if who you are, what you do, or any of that. There's only 24 hours in a day. And we all have the same. It doesn't change. And how you spend that time is the greatest gift you can give to anybody else. That's awesome. I mean, it's, it's such a great point. I think the character and integrity piece goes without saying. Well, the way I look at character and integrity, 
people have given a lot of gifts. Sure. You know, yeah, there's physical gifts. There's um, as far as your talents, as far as what it is, it could be looks. It could be so many different sure. things. It could be material stuff, stuff that you've been given. You can learn things over time, but character and integrity are the only two things that you can really control yourself. It's not anybody quote given to you in a sense, I'm, and and it's how you live your life and how you treat people around you yeah. is everything. And character and integrity are, I will not, no way. Yeah. I will yeah. not give in to any of that. Yeah. And I will only surround myself with people who I feel have that. That's awesome. And I think a, a great way great. To, to end today for those of you um, that are looking for something to sort of, when you're creating the non-negotiables for yourselves and trying to create that ethos to, to change your life one good hour at a time, one good day at a time. I think that's a real good way to end. I can't thank you enough for taking the time, man. I know we have a busy afternoon ahead of us. We're going to go uh, as fans Enjoy. to watch a, an unbelievable show. Um, Please but I, keep listening. I hope this episode didn't turn people off. Uh, I, I, can, I Keep I, up listen, the good work, Colonel. Yeah, I, I love you, man. I'm, love you I'm very, very grateful for your time. Folks, uh, as usual, I appreciate you guys tuning in, paying attention to the show. Please, uh, as you see fit, like, subscribe, encourage others to do the same. As always, be good to those you love. Let them know you love them. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you to Seven Roads Media and Cloud9 Marketing Group for co-producing the show. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on whatever platform you're on. Without you, I cannot continue to do what I love. You can follow me personally on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Real John C. Martin. I'd love to hear from you, so please reach out with comments and questions after each episode. Your comments push me to get better every day. As always, thank you for your continued support, and don't forget, win today.